I think it's that extra wrapping because of the spines. <laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and in this one we've got a bit of a houseplant haul. Well, I call it houseplant haul. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think there's more than a couple of houseplants in here, but it is a bit of a mix mystery unboxing because I have an absolute terrible memory <laughs> and I know I ordered some houseplants and I can't remember what I ordered. I think I've got a, a, a reasonable idea of what one of them is. I think I ordered two items. So it will be a mystery unboxing for both of us because I really can't remember. One of the benefits to having a terrible memory is um, yeah, you get to have a surprise <laughs> when you get things through the post, which is great. So um, shout out to Hortology, which is where I got this, um, uh, this houseplant order from. Look at the packaging of this thing. I think there's only a couple of plants in here and they're not massive, but look at it. Amazing, huge box, um, got fragile this way up, live plants, everything like that. It looks incredibly well packed and I didn't pay a massive amount for shipping either. So well done guys. I appreciate you taking the time to get these items uh, to me in one piece. Let's hope they are now, <laughs> after I said that. Let's hope they're in one piece, but without further ado, shall we get cracking? Alrighty, let's have a look in here. It's exciting. What have we got? Oh yeah, ha! they really have gone to town with the packaging. As uh, the plants are all the way down on the bottom. Okay, it's been taped in here. Let me bring this down a bit. There we go, out of shot. I have actually got a table that I can uh, put this on, see, prepared, sort of. Right, you know what? I might be able to take the whole tray out. That might be easier. Let's do that, shall we? This is a very well-designed box. <laughs> Can't believe I'm geeking out over cardboard boxes, but it's happening right now. Okay, I don't want to shake it. I want to be careful with these things. It's coming up, it's coming up. All right, here. here it is. <laughs> All right, let's put it on top of the box, shall we? See if we can do this. Okay. This is working out very nicely. This is the perfect height. All right, let's have a look in here, shall we? Ah, okay. I remember now. <laughs> okay, so this is quite cool. This is actually for a project that I've got in mind and I will try and film it to uh, give you guys a view of it too. Now, I was hoping for some paperwork so it can remind me. Okay, yeah, it's got a label on here. All right, cool. Because this is an interesting plant. I should have got the order up ahead of time so I'd have all the technical knowledge. So this is nice, you see, when you've got when it's wrapped up like this, sometimes you can damage the plant just try to get it undone. But it's easy to get off because it's uh, open at the bottom and the top. I say that. It's not going to go over the top, is it? It's going to have to go this way. But no bother, we can do that pretty easily. There we are. That's really, it's very healthy. That is beautiful. So, what are we calling this? This is... All right, it's got the, just the brief uh, Latin name for it. But this is the, the rabbit's foot fern. I'm sure you've heard of it. Uh, it grows with a really interesting habit with the, uh, with the roots that come out over the top of the plant. And uh, they're really furry roots. They look really cute or a bit spooky, depending on <laughs> your viewpoint. But this is a really, this is a really nice fern, just a bit of dye back here and there, but a lot of new growth. Loads of new growth and quite a bushy plant here, actually. This is bigger and better than I thought. So thanks guys, I appreciate that. What I'm gonna do, what I've got in mind with this, I don't know if you've ever seen in garden centers, you get one of these, they put it on a bit of a rock and they mount it on the rock. It looks really natural and really cool. I'd like to make a semi-terrarium type of thing with a bunch of different things. And this may be on, on a rock 
somehow because I think they look really good in a setting. And as I said before with the um, spider plant video, the last thing you want to do is just take this and put it on your windowsill because you're really not doing it justice. So half of the fun for me is finding the right pot or the right location, the right setting for these plants. So I'm looking forward to doing something with this and this is going to be on a, another video. So watch out for that. Yeah, so really pleased with that actually. That's really good. So let's have a look at this guy. I've got to be a little bit more careful because it may be spiky, but yet again, really well packaged in a way that it can't really come adrift, which means it's going to stay the way it is intended. I'm impressed. Alrighty. Alright, let me just be cutting. Try not to cut my hand off at the same time. That would make a good blooper reel, wouldn't it? Alright. Here we come. I think it's that extra wrapping because of the spines. Ah! <laughs> ah, I'm so clumsy. Yes, it's got extra wrappings because of the spine. Don't try and drop it on yourself. <laughs> That was quite painful. All right, moving on. <laughs> I'm making such a pig's ear of this. All righty, it's coming off now. Hey, this is in good nick as well. Wowza. I think I'm gonna be coming back to hortology again, jeez. They're not sponsoring this, by the way, I, I bought this. I'm not being nice for the hell of it. I'm not being nice for the money. <laughs> I've got like two subscribers. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Ah, oh, man, this is so awkward. I'm trying to get it off the spines. Ah, oh, this is so nice. Yes. Oh, yes. Alrighty, this is a good specimen. This is healthy, looks really good. Okay, so I don't have the tag in here to remind me of the name. I should have been, is there a tag in here? There's not a tag in here. Alrighty, so I will put the name of this cactus about there, just so you can, uh, so you can know the name of it. But this is really nice, this is a lovely uh, plant. And this one, I'll do, I'll do some, clo some close-ups in the B-roll because that will be easier to see them from all the way over there. Um, this one I kind of bought as a long-term project, so to speak, because I think uh, these uh, particular cactus look really great when they're large, when they're really big. And what happens is you can see there's a bit of a twist uh, in it. And as it grows, it gets bigger and more twists. And so when these get big, these are really handsome looking uh, cacti. So um, what, I'm, um, what I'm planning to do is just grow this on as strongly as I can, really get some size on it. I don't think they're particularly fast growing, so I thought the sooner I get one, the, <laughs> the more time I've got to grow it into something big. Because for me, yes, you can probably find somewhere, there's not that many places, but you can find places where you can buy the big specimens and there will be big specimens of this somewhere. They'll cost an absolute fortune because they take so long to grow. A really mature uh, specimen of one of these would cost hundreds, if not thousands, I would imagine. So firstly, from a price point of view, uh, that'll bankrupt you pretty quickly. And secondly, how much more fun is it growing, growing it from something this size to you know, it's something massive and be able to document it as well uh, with a video would be very cool. So yeah, this is a long-term project. Wow, it's got plenty of roots coming out the bottom here, so it's gonna need a pop, um, but it's a, it's a beautiful looking thing. So uh, I'm looking forward to trying to find the right pot for it. I'll let you guys know and give you an update when I have. But in the meantime, that's it, just two plants uh, today. Um, yep, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a close up of both of them. But yeah, really good quality. Uh, big thumbs up for uh, Hortology because uh, they've really come through with these plants. They're really healthy, packaged 
really very, very well. These plants aren't going to go anywhere. And even if they turned upside down and the post office were really terrible with it, um, they might lose a bit of um, compost, but uh, basically they're going to stay where they are. So really impressive. And they're even individually in bags as well. So it wouldn't go everywhere either. So um, yeah, thanks very much guys for this. Uh, really impressive. And um, yeah, I will catch up with you guys when I find a project for this one and a pot for this one. But for now, um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.